Hi, good morning, welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It is Monday, day after Father's Day, and I hope you also had a great Father's Day um, for those of you that celebrated with your loved ones. So they, I had a wonderful Father's Day yesterday. Um, I made a nice dinner with my husband because uh, we grilled steak and although I'm a good cook I'm not so much on the grill it's not something I usually do so he helped me out and helped he didn't want to just sit around and do nothing so <laughs> that's my husband um, for those of you that know him you know that's how he is so anyways it was wonderful though and today we are here to talk about BoxyCharm so I did already open my box and I actually already filmed an unboxing but decided that I wasn't gonna use it. I just didn't like it, didn't finish it, all those kind of things. So today though, I am actually wearing the items we got, or at least one of the items we received in the box today on my face. So I had a lot of fun playing with it and I can't wait to talk to you more about it and talk to you about what we got in this month's box. If you're new to BoxyCharm, which I'm sure none of you watching my channel are, but if you are by any chance new to my channel, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscri subscription service that is $21 a month, and you get usually five full-size beauty items. Sometimes you get four, um, but I've never ever had that happen in the year and a half I've been getting BoxyCharm. But sometimes you do get six items. Usually one of those items is considered a deluxe size item, um, not a full size, but it usually is still a really nice item. And this month's deluxe size item in full size form would never have fit in the box anyway. So what else would they have done but to give us a smaller size? So let's get into it. So again, I did already open my box, but you open it up. It's always got this little cushion here for protection. And you have the card, which says BoxyCharm. It used to be more of a postcard style this um, last couple of times. Uh, not the last time, but anyways, they've changed it up a little bit. So this time you open it up and you have the theme, which is Caribbean Queen. And you have some of the lovely ladies that um, did the, um, what do you call it? I went blank um, media I guess and stuff for this month so anyways then you open it up and you have a description of all of the items in the box you have the manufacturers retail value of them and a brief description on like you know how they kind of recommend using them things like that in case you're new to some of the items so that is what's inside I should leave that handy so I can go over the things with you here all right so first we'll start with the do my lighting I'm so sorry if you know my videos though I don't have any kind of lighting to work with really, so we just do our best. All right, so first item in here is our deluxe sample size item. This is by Sol de Janeiro. It is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It retails for $10, and it's just a body lotion that is made with, let me tell you the right thing here. Um, it's got like pistachio and caramel leaves, I guess, for the scent or something like that. So you open it up and it has a little safety seal. And mine looks like it's missing. Look at that. It looks like it's missing a big chunk. Well, that's disappointing. I know it settles, but I'm like, seriously, that is like a big, perfect, look at that hole. You see that? Do you get BoxyCharm? Did yours come like that? Like, is it just the way it settled? Or am I like seriously missing? I mean, there's some product on the lid, like, ugh, of course my lighting is so bad. See a little bit, but like seriously? All right, it smells great. So anyways, let's move on. Next we have the Baddington Monroe Silk Lashes. These retail for $28. That is expensive for one pair of lashes. Uh, they are 3D multi-layered lashes. Um, they allow for 25 applications with proper care, it says. And here is the box, which is super cute. And it says Baddington Lashes on the um, little side there. And you open it up. And again, I have opened them up, but no, I am not wearing them on my face. And I am not wearing them because I tried which is why they're opened. And I, I just, I can't. I just can't. Oh, and that one's falling. So 
So anyways, there is a little more up close look of the lash. It's really cute. And I did already trim them up and attempt, like I say, to put them on my eyeball. Um, I think I might need to get a different glue. I currently have one of the duo glues, but I just feel like I can't, I can't get it to go. I don't know what to do. And yes, I know. Wait, let it get tacky. I did. I think I let it dry too much on one side. I don't even know. I end up just messing up my eye look that I went into. Maybe I should just attempt doing lashes someday, like, and that's it. And like, not even be wearing makeup technically and just be like, okay, let's put on lashes. I don't know. I don't know. If you have any tips about lashes, please leave the comment down below. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. What maybe I need to do instead. I would totally love to hear about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, moving on. We have these three Luxie brushes. And this counts as one item, which can you believe you get three full-size Luxie face brushes and it that's one item. So not only did we get the two items so far, now this would be number three. It retails for $42 for these three brushes. And it says that you have a precision foundation brush, which, let's see what it says here. Less bristle density, this brush is perfect for applying both powder and liquid foundation to create a soft, diffused makeup look. So I did not try this brush really yet. I, I actually, I think the other day when I first tried it, because again, I did receive this box a couple days ago. I've had a chance to actually play with these items a little bit. And so not only am I, you know, talking to you a little bit about what I got, I'm also talking to you about having used them a little bit. So I did get them last week. It is now Monday. And so I've had a couple of days to play. I don't wear a lot of foundation on my face and I haven't worn foundation in about a week because I have some pimples going on and I just have wanted to leave it as light as I can. And so I've not put any foundation on my face in, the, in a while. So I have not had a chance to use this as a foundation applying brush. So I will do that. I did try to, I think, kind of blend out my concealer, if I believe, and I don't know. I didn't love it for that, but you know, it obviously isn't really meant for that. So, you know, I was just having fun. This one is the Luxie 516 Dual Fiber Powder Brush. Don't mind my dogs. Indy, Luna! Stop it. Hmm. All right, this one says to use it for an ultra soft dual fiber brush to apply cream or powder makeup for a softer, flawless finish. Okay, so this morning I tried to use this to apply a powder product and I did not like it. Now I'm thinking I will clean it and maybe attempt it for more of just like a brushing away powder or something under my eye and see if maybe I can get it to work for me for that. But I don't love this brush. This brush personally, I could do without and not really worth anything for me. This brush, the last one of the trio is the 522 tapered highlight brush. And this one says this fluffy tapered brush allows you to seamlessly apply your favorite powdered highlighter to the high points of your face or to set your under eye makeup. Now I could definitely see it being great for setting the under eye makeup. It's got this really great size. I think it could fit really nice. I had used it um, for highlight and that's the highlight there that you can see glowing on my cheek. I really like it for highlight. I think it's really soft. It's got a great density. I just wiped highlight all over my hand. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, I like this brush for highlight. I think it is totally worth my box value in and of itself, and it's not even my most favorite item in the box. So I'm really excited for this highlight brush. It's not like it's my only highlight brush. I have other ones I like, but I really like this, and I like having brushes that I can use for different colors, and then this way I don't have to wash them as often because I can just use the brush that I like for that color. So, anyway, moving on. Next, we have a um, Jante Blue Waterproof Eyeline Pencil, and this is a retail value of $5. It is full size, and you got a choice, not a choice, not a choice. They were sending out one of two colors. You either got the brown or you got this one, which I got, which is charcoal. 
and here is an up close. And normally you're thinking, oh my God, charcoal, it's black, right? Oh, thank goodness, no. This is a nice steel gray color. So even though it's hard to tell. Now I don't mind water, or sorry, I don't mind pencil eyeliners, but, and it goes on my hand creamy enough, but I feel like when I go to put the water eyeliners on my eye, they're kind of rough and hurt and make me cry. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Mm. I hope you grabbed your coffee to sit back and have coffee with me because it's early in the morning as I'm filming this because I'm so behind on doing it. I wanted to get it done for you guys. And so please sit back and have some coffee with me. Mm. All right. This pencil I did not use today because I felt like... Again, I like it, but it just pulls a little, and I just wasn't in the mood this morning to cry. Yeah. All right, moving on. Um, now we have the Girl Lactic Lip Paint. This uh, retail value is for $23. It says to apply this uh, richly pigmented lip paint onto your lips. In one minute, it will dry down, and you get a beautiful matte color that is noticeably dramatic without being dry or flaky. And there was two color choices, and I'm sorry that I don't know the name of the second Galactic uh, color. I, I don't know which one it was. I got the color Blossom. Here is an up close of the packaging. It is really cute. I really like the packaging a lot. I have another Galactic that I got in one of my other boxes. Um, I believe it's Demure. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I really like that one a lot. I'm not wearing it today, though. Um, I was going to, but I am wearing a MAC. Uh, lip gloss that I got in my Ipsy because I hadn't had a chance to wear it and try it yet. So that's what I'm currently wearing today. So just a little light lip. Um, I'm not wearing this because it is just a little brighter pink than I would typically wear. Although it does look nice and I don't mind it at all. It's just not my color. On that, my sister-in-law also gets Foxy Charm and she got the other lip liquid lip option that they were sending out which was the oh for lippy and so that one for her is too brown dark she felt and I was like oh my god I would totally rather have the darker brown color so she said let's trade or maybe I said let's trade either way we're trading colors so my um Galactic and Blossom will be going to my sister-in-law Cassie and I will be eventually getting the Ofra and I believe it is a new color that has come out recently called Verona so I'm super 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 excited to get that and try it out and uh anyways there you go that was that item there and I believe I did say the price but again $23 and you know I'm not sure how much the Ofra Lippy was but I'm guessing it's probably around the same value all right <clears throat> last but definitely not least as I lose my card retail value for this though I don't need the card for because it is $28 and this is the new oh did I do it upside down I sure did this is the new Alomar Cosmetics palette that Gabby, who works with BoxyCharm and for BoxyCharm, has created. This is her first palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to butcher the name like crazy. So here we go. It is the Rihanna del Car Carib. Car Carib. I, I'm sure I, I did not do that any justice whatsoever. Anyways, this is the eyeshadow palette volume one. I cannot wait to see what her volume two palette looks like, but without further ado let's open this beauty up so this is the palette up close and personal and I just remembered that I forgot to put the highlight in my inner my makeup is not complete <laughs> darn it and I don't have that with me so when we are done here I need to go touch up this makeup because I forgot something <laughs> Anyways, I know I'm giddy over this palette. It is so pretty. Here is another up close look. I am wearing this on my eyes today. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you. So I know my lighting sucks. I'm so sorry. Eventually someday we'll have better lighting. So I today am wearing a mix of quite a few of the colors. I, um, set of course there's not a light enough color I must say and I, I I get it and you know what it's fine I got other eyeshadows for that it's fine but there was not a light enough color in here for me 
to kind of start off my colors. And yes, you could totally start every look probably with Coco Taxi without a problem. But for me, I, I like that almost as my then second color. I like something a little lighter to start. So I went into my Maybelline Lemonade palette and used a couple of their little light, 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 light shades in there and kind of dusted them on my eye first after using uh, my Tarte Shape Tape concealer to um, prime my eye this morning and so then I set it and I used a little of the colors there then I went in with Coco Taxi which is this beautiful kind of mustardy yellow orangey kind of color it's so pretty then I went in with Tropico over here this little bright orange beauty over here in the corners then uh, I ended up going in with the bright blue up here which is Var Vardero Vard Dero? Something like that. Anyways, and that is the beautiful blue shade that you see going on in the majority of the eye. Then I went in with El Malecon up here, this gorgeous green gold color, which is what you see right in the crease of here. Then I went in with Cafecito, which is this beautiful brown coffee color down here, and I kind of darkened up my corner with that and then of course went in and kind of blended everything using Coco Taxi again and stuff like that. Um, it is so, so beautiful. Celia is beautiful. La, Cost, La, La Costa, which is the highlight over here, is what is up on my brow and what will be in my inner corner when I go back and finish because I forgot that part. Um, La Costa is also a beautiful highlight and I have actually worn it every day except for today because I forgot and I wanted to smell my pure highlight palette that we received, I want to say last month's BoxyCharm um, with the contour and highlight in it. It smells so good. Do you guys agree? Oh my God, for those of you who have it, doesn't it smell so good? Oh my God, it smells so good. And my best friend, totally, she was so right. I was like, you have to smell this palette. It smells so good. So I didn't even have her look at it. I just was like, oop, smell it. And she was like, oh my God, it smells like Cabbage Patch Kids when you first opened them up back in the day. I was like, oh my God, girl, you were so right. It totally smells like Cabbage Patch Kids. I uh, totally want to just smell it all the time now because it takes me back. So awesome. So anyways, that is what I'm wearing as far as my highlight today. Um, my contour is an IBY highlight contour kit that we got back forever ago in my BoxyCharm. And uh, I forget what else I put on. Oh yeah, my blush is my Burt's Bees peach, uh, nude peach I think it is or something like that that I got. So beautiful. I love that blush. So anyways, that is what I'm wearing today along with this amazing 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 palette i cannot believe this is what we got in our boxy charm for 21 dollars. we got this we got a lipstick we got an eyeliner we got three face brushes we got lashes which i don't know if i can ever wear but we got them we got them and we got this yummy smelling lotion let me know by the way down below if you got this lotion and it looked like that and maybe settled and i'm not crazy and lost heck of product or is yours like full to the brim and oh my god mine is like totally like somebody used it and then decided eh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass that on now I don't know so I would love to hear your thoughts I dropped one whoops anyways I would love to know your thoughts about the box what you got what color you got um are you happy with your color options that you got are you looking forward to July I also heard a spoiler that coming in the fall, they are gonna uh, they are gonna add upgrade options to the box, so you can get, I believe, more items as well as higher value items coming possibly, and maybe be able to tailor the box a little bit more because of it. Um, what do you think on that? I'm a little concerned personally with how much more it's gonna cost for me to do that because I love my boxy charm box so much. Will the items and the amazingness that I'm getting right now stop for 21? Or will my $21 still get me a box like this? And then for maybe $35, I'll get, you know, another two items that are pretty awesome, but you know, there's maybe skincare related or something that I don't really care so much about, hair related or something. Anyways, let me know what you think. I'm a little concerned about that upgrade, but at the same time, super excited because BoxyCharm is, is seriously my favorite subscription. I love it. 
I, I do not want to get rid of it. I would be so sad currently without it because I really have a lot of fun unboxing it and um, wearing it and enjoying it. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I am hoping to have a couple more videos coming out within the next month here. Um, I know typically I only have two uploads a month because... I only get two subscription services and I don't usually have a lot of else going on to share, but I would love to share more. So if you have video ideals that you want me to do, um, if you want me to do other things like show you me cooking or in the garden or anything like that, I mean, I would love to do other stuff. So comment down below, tell me what you want to see and, uh, till next time, I guess. Good morning. Bye.